Now let's take a specific look at your credit score. There's a lot of bad information out there, so hopefully this will clear it up for you. Now your credit score is a snapshot that shows your creditors the likelihood of being paid back. And scores range from 300 to 800. Obviously, the higher the score, the better the rate and the less it costs for that rate. So if you look at that pie chart, you're going to see that the 30% is used for the amount that you owe. Too many credit cards with balances can lower your score. Secondly, look at the payment history for 35%. Your on-time payments, your late payments, the length that you've had positive credit history, and even your delinquencies all contribute to your score. That 10% would include any current mortgages, your installment loans like furniture type loans, or even your auto loans, your revolving accounts like credit cards, and if you have any late payments or collections or public records, meaning bankruptcies and foreclosures, all of these contribute to that 10% portion of your credit score. Next up is another 10% for new accounts. Now, let me caution you that any new accounts open in a short amount of time is kind of a red flag to the underwriter. And then the last is that 15% of credit length. The length of accounts and how recently you have used your accounts are monitored and also contribute to about 15% of your total credit score. So as you can see, how you use your credit is very important in obtaining a new home loan. 